Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. For those of you who are new here, I blog every day at kjaggers.com. The link is below. I'd love it if you visited me sometime. So today I'm going to do kind of a getting ready with me video featuring the Avon A New Age Transforming 2-in-1 Foundation. So I think it's going to be fun. I haven't done one of these in a while. If you want to see me get ready today, just keep watching and I'll take you right through it. Okay, so here I am, and here is the Avon and Nude. Like I said, the one I'm using is a natural beige AY102. That's what it looks like. And I have used a lot of mine up. You can see. You can see the serum in. It kind of reminds me of the Olay foundations, but you can see the serum in along with the foundation. I don't really care if you can see that swirl. They could mix it all together and I wouldn't care. The first thing, and this is not just an Avon video, but I am using a couple Avon products. The first thing I'm using is the Avon um, A New Clinical Skin Vincible Multi Shield Lotion with SPF 50. So I'm just putting that on and kind of letting it soak into my skin a little bit. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while. So, I thought it would be a good time to show you this foundation because um, I'm about out of it. Um, and I think I can review it pretty well being that I have used so much of it. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I just bought one in a haul that I'm going to have up probably on Sunday. And we'll start with just side of my, one side of my face so you can see. So I'm just kind of swirling it in a little bit. And then I'm just going to swirl it on. These brushes are so nice. I love the Real Technique brushes. They work so good um, in blending out the product. It goes on so smooth. It's almost silky. See the difference? And you can build it up where needed. Just my whole chin. I'm not going to do just like half my face, but I'm just kind of giving you an overlook real quick of how it looks um, just on its own. See? All right, let's move on. Compact foundations are so nice because you can toss them in your purse. They're not going to spill. The sponge that comes with this is just a normal sponge. I've used it. Um, it does give you a more heavier application, that's for sure. Um, I prefer a brush. But if I'm going to be out and about, um, the sponge is fine. Now, for dry skin like mine, it's always important to moisturize for any kind of foundation that is cream to powder, which that's what this is. Um, I haven't had any trouble with the oxidizing. I haven't had any trouble with like it sinking and making my lines worse, which I think is part of the serum. And I build it up where needed. And it gives such a flawless base. I was rather impressed by it. And that's why I wanted to share it. And I don't remember how much this cost. I don't think it was that much. I'll put it down below. Also, a link to my sister-in-law's um, blog where you can find all of her Avon stuff in case you want to order some. And this is not a plug for her. It's simply a review just because I have loved this foundation. And I just bought two drugstore foundations. Um, two oldie but goodies, basically. And... Um, I'll be using those for the next couple months, but I will be reordering those too. Okay. You can see it covers up really well. It blends great. So now, since this is kind of like a get ready with me too, I'm going to use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Eye Brightening um, Perfector. 
I take it right under my eyes. And I'm just going to use that same foundation brush to, to pat it in. You don't want to smear it because you'll smear off the foundation, so just pat it. Same with this side. Really, I don't need a tonal concealer with this um, um, foundation. I just don't. So I'm going to contour with e.l.f. Um, their bronzing, what's it called? Their blush and bronze duo. Now, I've been using the Revlon Photo Ready, but mine is in pieces and it just leaves my face like um, streaky because you'll get, you know, one large piece in your brush. I'm going to use this long, 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 long um, fan brush. And I always like to contour just a little bit. So. This, um... Elf bronzer is really not a bad one at all. I don't really have much to say bad about Elf. I haven't always liked their mascaras, but um, a lot of their products are really good for the price. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Sorry, that's my phone. I'll turn that down. There we go. So it just warmed me up. And now we can move right on in to eyebrows. So I'm just going to brush them up. So, um, so and I'm going to use my Revlon Brow Fantasy, the pencil and the gel. And I'm just going to start and make like a crisp line at the bottom and bring it up. So that foundation that I just used lasted um, pretty much on my face every time I've used it for seven to eight hours um so it holds up really well now if you have oily skin you could definitely powder with something light but it is one of those foundations that um does turn to powder so you don't want to powder too heavily sometimes um if my skin is particularly dry we'll um go ahead and and use cream products like cream blushes and cream um shadows and cream bronzers which there's quite a few good ones out this one um, is a drugstore one. It is the CoverGirl True Magic Bronzer. Love it. Should have picked up another one, but I didn't. I forgot. Um, but maybe I'll get it um, before I show that haul. And I think I'm going to show the haul on Sunday. So I'm just taking the gel over, and it just kind of brings up the hairs and keeps them in the right place. So good enough for me. Now... Moving on, I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced, Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Um, I'm going to use this real pretty color right here, and then probably this color. So, I'm actually going in with my Sigma Tapered Brush and applying the lighter color with that. I'm going to use this brush all the way around to apply the lighter color and the crease color. It'll work fine for both. That was my dog. Maybe you could hear him playing with the kids. So today is a Friday. And the boys are all home. Um, and they have um, been driving me crazy. Jackson's out of school today. And, um, yeah. It's going to be a long weekend. I'm going to go ahead and put on some lipstick. I'm going to use the cover or the Revlon Color Stay in um, number 70 preview, I believe. This is my lips up here. There we go. Okay, now I'm going in with the same Sigma brush into that. Warmer brown and right into the crease and in just a little bit. And this brush will just do all the blending for you. Someone asked me one time why I don't sell Sigma brushes. And um, I do like Sigma brushes, a lot of different ones. 
but what I have found is a lot of the Sigma brushes really do um, shed and I've done a lot to make that not happen using conditioner, different tips off the internet, but um, I just really hate the shedding and I'm not going to sell something like that. Um, but I still do use some of their brushes, not all, but some. And now I'm going to take the lighter color, this one right here, and go under my brow bone with it. Some of these colors in the chocolate bar are quite um, powdery. So watch out for fallout, but they're still amazing. I think it's a better version. Um, uh, I think it's a more adult version, let me say that, than the, than the naked palettes. Um, yeah, that's just me personally, but I still love the naked palettes. So now I'm using my Urban Decay 24 7 um, in black velvet. I'm just going to kind of run it along my lash line. I'm going to smudge it out so it really doesn't matter if it's perfect underneath. Same on this side. These are such creamy liners. And then I'm going to use a Real Techniques brow brush, the angled brush, and just kind of soften those lines up. There we go. And what what mascara did I pick out? I picked out two. Um, I'm going to go in with the Miss Mango Voluminous um, Waterproof Mascara. I just picked up a new mascara um, too in the haul. I can't wait to show you. But I'm going to use this one first, and then I'm going to make them a little bit longer with the lash stiletto. So I just kind of get them at the base and wiggle up, trying to get as much of the mascara off the brush and onto my lashes. This is a really flimsy brush. Um, it does allow you to really get in and maneuver it under the lashes. And then I like just to get the tips. Next side. I like to kind of move them towards the middle and um, get them more straight on than winged out to make my eyes look a little more open. Using the viewfinder now. So I like to make them a little bit longer. My favorite one still right now is the Rocket, which is downstairs, so I didn't go get it. But I'm using some of the Line Stiletto. I'll use two uh, mascaras a lot of times. One to thicken and one to lengthen. And make them really big and bold. Okay. There we go. Big, pretty lashes. And now, I'm going to take um, my Sigma Tapered Brush. Again, this one sheds a lot. Um, and the, sh the Sugar Bomb by Benefit Blush. Just to kind of pinken me up a little bit. I could have used the one in the Elf. Branch straight back. And there we go. I'm pretty much done. You can see it's a very quick routine. And there's not a lot of different products. There's a few, but I'm really impressed with this Avon and New Foundation. It is amazing. You can see, let me put it down so the lighting. It gave a really good coverage. It blended beautifully. It doesn't sink into the fine lines, which is amazing. It's in a compact, so it's easy to put it in your bag. And I just really love it. I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to do this quick get ready with me video and really talk about the Anu for a minute because 
I, I struggle to find the perfect foundation. While this is not exactly perfect, it's really good. And it gives excellent coverage. And um, even on dry skin, you can see I didn't powder again, but I definitely could if I was oily. But the, the cream to powder really does give me enough powder where I don't really feel like I need to powder my whole face. Now, if I was going to need, you know, a really full coverage, um, I would go ahead and use a really nice um, powder and, and powder myself up. But that's just a little much for my dry skin. If you have oily skin, definitely powder afterwards if, that, if that's something you think you might need to do. But this has just worked so nice. So I wanted to share it, let you guys know that it's out there. I know it's not a drugstore makeup that you can just run out and get. But if you take the time and actually find one, and, and the hardest part is finding the right shade. I pretty much knew the right shade right off when I seen the shades. But um, you might want to talk to your Avon consultant. They usually have samples um, that you can try out to find the right shade. And Trina, my sister-in-law, can help you with that if you're new to Avon. If you already have an Avon representative, talk to them about this foundation and, and ask them what they think your shade would be. Um, I am pretty pale. I'm not a really dark person. It blends in beautifully on my neck, and it's AY102. It's um, natural beige, so it worked out great for me, and I definitely will be reordering. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done a Get Ready With Me, but um, I wanted to kind of go over that foundation and show you you know, on film, how well it works. And um, I've just been really enjoying it. So I hope you give it a try. I hope you check out Trina's blog, which is linked below. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I have two giveaways going on right now. You can head over to my blog at kjaggers.com. That link is also below. You can hear or read more about the giveaways. I have one going on for the plated box um, and one going on for Books Flowers. So hop over there, get entered, and maybe you'll be the winner. Who knows? And um, it's exciting. I love doing giveaways. I might come back and do a giveaway for the a new um, foundation, but the two giveaways going on right now, I usually don't run to, is a little much, so I'm holding off. If you're interested in a giveaway, just give me a thumbs up, and I'll know that you guys are interested, and I will do another really in-depth review of this foundation and maybe um, a a corresponding blog post and giveaway. So let me know about that. And if you have any questions or comments about any of the products I used or about how I applied them or anything, just let me know below and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful and blessed Friday. Bye-bye.